Here we are guys, testing out a new track and testing out Lillian's suspension. If this is like a normal thing across the country or not but the store that we're shopping at mostly here in florida has a scale so when you walk in you could weigh yourself which which is like new to me but it's actually pretty convenient because like before you go buy junk food you have a visual reminder right there you step on it and then it basically like says hey fatty get a salad so i think that has helped me out because when we first got here i was pretty close to 200 pounds i was like high 190s and uh now i'm like closer to 180 so that's pretty cool a couple reasons why i feel like i've uh, lost some pounds one uh luke has uh started going to the gym with me he's old enough to go to the gym now so he pushes me instead of me going like two or three times a week he wants to go like every day so i'm working out more also i've been taking this pre-workout from snap supplements so basically i just have a better work out now I go in and I, I have energy I don't like sit around on my phone as much I don't rest as much in between sets because uh, I have I have energy I have like that pump that you get from a pre-workout and today guys today is actually three months away from summer so I want to kick it up a little bit I want to get like even in better shape to get ready for summer in the spirit of summer being three months away snap supplements is offering you guys a discount they've got some cool stuff uh, this isn't for kids by the way uh, but they've got this pre-workout they've got protein they've got lots of stuff to help you get in shape for uh for summer so go check them out looking pretty fresh okay do you want to compress the forks and we can see if we can hear what you're talking about here. You hear it? Not really. Here, you hold the. It goes. <laughs> and the bike goes. Is there a Yeah. You hear that? Yeah, come over on the side. Is that normal? I don't know. Let's take it in and see what they say. I feel like it's probably time to get her suspension done, anyways. She's bigger, she's riding faster, cases jumps more. When did we get this bike? What? When did we get the Super Mini? End of July. Okay. We've had it like six months. But you are riding faster, so I, I think we should stiffen the suspension. A little bit, not to the point where uh, it's not gonna do anything in braking pumps. Okay, I'll, I'll let them know that. I'll be like, we want it stiffer, but we still want it to work in braking bumps. <laughs> Two days later. All right, I just picked up the suspension and I'm actually really excited. I'm really excited for Lillian to test it out, see how she likes it. It should be dialed for her, for her weight and uh, riding ability. So hopefully she likes it. Hopefully she's more comfortable and rides better. Uh, okay, so what happened was we took the bike in two days ago and they asked us to just bring the suspension in. So we took the bike back and took the suspension off and I should have asked, I should have thought to ask if they wanted the, the bike or just the suspension. But last time I took a bike bike in to get the suspension down. I took Luke and Mason's bikes in when we first got them and uh, they just had us bring the whole bike in, but I guess we were getting other things done too. So um, they said that for liability reasons, we cannot have a full bike in here. So we took the suspension in and they put a heavier spring uh, for the rear. They said the stock spring is good for like 95 pounds. Lillian's like 115 without gear. And then they revalved the fork. So it'll be a little bit stiffer and it costs under a thousand dollars so that's good uh, we had factory connection do it just because they're local they're actually right down the street and uh, not a sponsor they're not a sponsor they did put the factory connection stickers on your bike which I don't get why they do that unless they're sponsoring you but whatever I guess you know maybe we'll leave that on there for uh, maybe it ups the resale value I don't know but uh, anyways got to go get the suspension on Lillian's bike so she can test it out and see how she likes it Here we are, guys. 
testing out a new track and testing out Lillian's suspension. Let's see if she can put some decent laps together, good enough for a little montage. sitting here. Just blast that thing already, Lil. She's just testing out the suspension. Looks like it worked pretty good. All right, well, I just got kicked off the track, escorted. I got invited. I was invited off the track. I guess I can't film unless I go and fill out a form and get a orange vest or something. So that's cool. I'm gonna go down and do that because uh, I think actually, I think I'm gonna be able to get some really good shots where I was standing. So hopefully this works out. I'd love to film over there some more. Hey. Works good? Yeah. But I do like this track, it's really fun. Yeah. I think Luke would like it because he could jump a lot of stuff. He jumps. Yeah, I bet Luke would be hitting that. I bet he'd be hitting that triple right there. Maybe we'll come back and bring Luke and he could show you how to rail these turns. Uh, he's gonna show you how to hit the jumps. I'm gonna show him how to rail the turns. That's another sick berm right there. Yeah, that would be fun. Mason, good job, man. Okay. You get faster as the practice goes on. Did you notice that? It's like, I don't even, I shouldn't even film like the first five minutes. Like the last five minutes is always the best. Okay, you got one more practice session after this, okay?
good day, guys. Mason was not riding like this earlier. Dude, you've been you've been in a Deegan video mm -hmm. and a Reed video. Yes. You want to be in our video? Sure. It just gets better, better. You know, Deegan's Reeds, and then up here, you can be in our video now. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, what's your name? Moto. Wait. What's your name? Moto. Your your name's Moto. Yeah. You're not lying to me, are you? No. Is your middle name Cross? No. No. <laughs> okay. What's your name? Victor. Victor. Thanks for the My battle dad's... with Mason. He's the second out of the third. Three victors. Yeah, but his dad got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. My Paul, my condolences. My I'm sorry to hear about that. Your dad broke his arm before. Your dad broke his arm? Ah, the news just keeps getting worse and worse. Yeah. All right, man. Good, meet, good to meet you. Thanks for watching the vids. Welcome. Love the shorts. Very patriotic, by the way. We'll see you next time, all right, guys? See ya. So I was filming with two cameras. I do that a lot. I don't know how noticeable it is, but the reason for that is sometimes I use the, the Sony because it zooms in really good and it gets far away shots. But then I'll also use my iPhone because of how simple it is and because that way the kids can easily grab videos themselves and then post it to social media or we put it on Instagram or whatever. So I don't know, is it is it annoying? Is it distracting? Like if I have if I have two shots with two different cameras, is that annoying? Or do you not even notice it until now I just said it and then now it's annoying? Let me know. Mason, I wanna give you the award for most improved today. You were doing pretty good earlier in the day, but then just as the day went on, you just got better and better and more aggressive and faster and faster. So good job. Anything else you wanna say? Video Lillian. Let's video Lillian now. Lillian, you get the award for closest person I've ever seen to commit suicide from breaking bumps. Well, my that back was not wasn't getting kicked sideways or anything. It's I think we'll give it another day. We'll let you ride again with, with the suspension the way it is and just see what happens next time. And if you're having the same problem in the braking bumps, then we'll, obviously we'll have to adjust something. But My other suspension did that too. Your other suspension I did? I told you why I was doing it. So it's your fault then. If you look closely, it's like a bump and then another bump that's taller. And then when you hit that one, and then mm. it kicks your other one, your back end up again. All right, I guess it's, it's obviously the track's fault then. Uh, and it's dark, you can't even see it, but we're about to hit 200,000 miles. Not subscribers, miles. We're at 1999999999. Okay, everybody, hold your breath. Ready? <gasps> you gotta be freaking kidding me. Go, bro. Yeah! All right, time to sell. The longest mile ever.